Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we had a thing that I had almost forgotten about, but we weren't going to forget about it uh, in the grand scheme of things, which was the Plex Gridonians had a template uh, that I was going to get them running on. New uh, since, you know, after I was done with the Phalens, then I was going to get them started. But uh, I didn't forget. You can't prove nothing. Shut up. Anyway, uh, I'm also going to make a template for humans. Uh, but I don't know what I want to do with humans. Um, do you want to make them long-lived? And now under us strong and communal I mean it fits perfectly sure why not let's do that uh let's create the template uh do I really want to rename yeah I might as well rename it You know what? No, let's not. Let's not. Let's just create the template and call it good. This is redefining what it is to be human. But uh, we will not worry about it right now. Especially since it'll be another 13 months before I am able to do it anyway. Get them started on that. So... Uh, we're just slowly but surely expanding our reach as far as it will let us. And also making sure that my Science division fleets reports a new breakthrough. are as full up as possible. Our Ripper cannons are now completed. Beautiful. Um, where should I move to next with my research? Elgate Insight. Okay. Sure. Let's just go with that because it's basically staring us in the face. Intensive study within the fields of nanomachinery and subspace phenomena will eventually yield a new Elgate insight into the disabled Elgate mystery. Which is something that I can't do yet because I haven't found an Elgate. But apparently, it wants me to do it anyway. So screw it, we'll do it anyway. Oh, I see, but the Spuxalac do. They have two. The sons of bitches. All right. I see how it is. The United Nations of Earth has decided to vote to enact the Charter of Workers' Rights, which I'm already supporting. And three are abstaining. Funny enough, their colony, the Commonwealth of Man, is abstaining from voting. How interesting. No, well, someone has decided they want to vote against it. It's a Polysimus Syndicate. Oh, all of them. Oh, every, everyone's jumping ship. Oh, everyone's jumping ship. Oh, I see. Wowzers. This definitely took a turn. I was expecting it to be a slam dunk, but apparently, as soon as it gets on the floor, it's no longer a slam dunk. Foreign powers are engaging in active hostilities. Oh, oh great. Sutherian entity has declared war on our ally again. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. And I say I want to humiliate. Oh, it's not going to be one of those, can I? All right. It's not going to let me, is it? Yeah, it's not going to let me say anything on that. We have claimed a new world. Okay. So I'm assuming the Sutherian entity's, you know, decision has now been made. Well, the war with them, anyway. It's not been made. Okay, so we are now good here. More or less. What was the modifier? High gravity. Adds more districts, but... 
Everything else is a little bit more difficult. Okay. That's fine. Um. Hmm. Let's do that. Sure. Why not? And the war we are now doing. Okay. We will send our fleet over. Just because, as it is, they need someone there, and Strike Force Titan isn't quite where it's supposed to be yet. Okay. I need to recruit a new leader for them as well. Let's go with Enrique Diaz with an aggressive trade. There we go. And... I can't afford to continue with that fleet any further. Um... You're trying to... Okay. New species variant available. Oh, that's the Wraith. Okay. <laughs> that's Wraith. Okay. Um... Oh, the Plex Credonian uh, modification is done. Good. Then I can move on to applying the template for humans. Good. New sit rep. Okay. Can I... There we go. That's what I wanted. Wanted to act up for some reason. Better. Okay. They should be able to handle that down there, right? Okay, maybe not. Science division reports a new breakthrough. They have a big ass fleet of twelve thousand. Wow. Okay. Jesus. Plasma accelerators is done. Good. Um, I'm gonna need them at this rate. Uh. <laughs> hmm. What should I do? Um, shield capacitors? Maybe. Uh, ion disruptors. It's probably better. Um, these shield capacitors store surplus energy, which can quickly be transferred to reinforce a ship's shields. That'd be, that'd be kind of nice. Okay, and now I am full up on minerals again. Jesus. No matter what I do, I keep getting full up on minerals way too quickly. Oh boy. Alright. Um, since I need to buy a whole bunch of alloys, I might as well do that. Um... Uh oh oh yeah that tanks are price that we can sell it for a little bit that's fine that's fine it's all fine actually you know what delete that because I can use that for a lot better things like here for instance and then here and then here I'm not going to do that there. Uh, okay, and everything else here is in the middle of being built. Okay, cool. The Nomistic Order, once again. Huh. Asking for alloys. 
By the guiding hand of Numa, we have come across these ancient artifacts which have been very inspiring for our meditations. The thought of parting with them, of course, pains us, but we feel that you Phalans could learn much by studying them. We are in need of some advanced materials, so perhaps a deal could be made. All right, well, sure, why not? All right, we're done. Cool. Wow! Wow! Guys! My dudes! Just because I'm getting my fleets built up does not mean you guys need to be immediately getting your ass kicked at every opportunity. Good God! Goodness me. There's no way I'm going to be able to make it over there in time. There is no way. There's just no way. It's just impossible. Hmm. And it strikes me now. Huh. None of them have Inbound upgraded anything. Traffic. Crap. That's something I should have done. Uh, crap. Okay, well, uh, the Plissimus Syndicate is asking for a... Uh... No, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I already don't trust you all that well. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. How do you? Elgate Insight. Beautiful. That's done. Now I can move on to something I could actually use. Um, like... Uh, improved Strike Craft. That'd be useful. Oh, hey. All these are done. Not anymore. Oh, boy. I'm now blowing through energy credits like nobody's business now. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Well, they got stopped. Okay. Um, let's do... Alloy Foundries here. Because I do need them. Boy, do I need them. Okay, they are here. New species They're variant About available. halfway. <laughs> Here's hoping that the war is still going by the time I get there. Because, <laughs> good gods. Alright, you know what? If I'm going to be having EM be a secondary port, there we go. I might as well have it be set up as a shipyard complete. as well. Uh, but at the same time, maybe not. Maybe not right there. Considering I also have it as a trade area. Um, balls. Maybe... Oh, well, Starbase capacity is going to be going up by two in a little bit. Uh, shield capacitors is done. Good. Um... Sure, why not? Let's go with miniature containment fields. Containment force fields are excellent for isolating and holding various substances or specimens so they can be analyzed in detail. Good. Cool. Let's do that. And we'll make Nusakan a place to do the stuff and things. 
Make it another shipyard, as it were. Besnar. Did I not do anything with Besnar? I did not. After that. Oops, doodle. Actually, you know what? Make the other one. Uh, hangar bay. Good. And... Naval logistics. Cool. Yes, it can. Good. By the time it's done... By the time it's done, maybe I should be good. Oh, more proposals. Natural sanctuaries. Proposed by the United Nations of Earth. We should preserve, ma preserve natural spaces as parks where citizens can escape from their troubles. Uh, minor restrictions to heavy industry are required, but it's a low price to pay. Hmm. Cuts down the weight from the economy. Uh, pop consumer goods upkeep is reduced. And the amenities usage is reduced. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. I like that one. And then there's a second one of reverence for life. From the Ketlings. Okay. Uh, the horror of war on the scale of interstellar empires is a terrible thing. We should do what we can to limit its excesses to active combatants. Purging other than displacement and the use of world crackers is banned. Whoa. Interesting. That would put... That would absolutely put the Sutherian entities at direct opposition to us. As, you know, the whole galactic community as a whole is. Sure, I'm all for it then. <laughs> Hell yeah. Science Division Reminds reports me. a new breakthrough. Oh, this is almost done and... No real different moves have been made. Okay, the improved strike craft is done. Fantastic. Um, another in insight? Okay. Uh, I guess I could do that. Eventually. Um. Screw it. Advanced rail guns allows me further down the path, so let's do it. A new version of the venerable railgun with sturdier rails and an enhanced power supply. These weapons are even more powerful and accurate than their predecessors. Good to hear. Let's do it. Yeah, by the time this is done, the research Science should Division be done. reports a new breakthrough. Yeah, it will be done. It will be done. Miniature containment fields. Cool. And what do I do next? Oh, it's just so many options. Let's go with quantum probes. Advanced probes that can thoroughly analyze subjects on a subatomic level, generating a wealth of valuable research data. Hell yeah. And then this will be the done. Action underway. And it's over quickly. There we go. Interstellar campaigns. I wonder if this will help us right now. Because, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Do we need it? Uh, do you need some help for sure? Uh, <laughs> gene seed purification allows the gene warrior army. Interesting. Interesting. But I think I like the interstellar campaigns a little more. A well-oiled war machine is the key to exerting influence on a galactic scale. Backed by the might of our military, we can lay claim to almost anything we want. I don't see why not. Oh boy! Oh boy! Again! Again? How? How? Am I getting no support from my so-called allies? Are you for real? Every single time.
You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Construction complete. My allies do not help me. I'm the only one carrying this fight, and I can't do it by myself. You're kidding. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, we'll do shipyard. We'll just do an outright, like, full shipyard. All right. Okay. It's like... I don't even get a chance to try. And... They close their borders to us, that's fine, it's whatever. Oh my good god. Science division. It's like they're expecting me to do all the work here. And that's annoying to me. They get into the fights with the Sutherian entity, and then they expect me to bail their asses out. Like, that's not how it works. Okay. Now that they're done, anyway. Um, let's do that. Interlinked support systems. Arrays of defensive Foreign armaments prove much more effective than independent countermeasures. Okay. Polysimus Syndicate has also declared war on the Sutherian Entity. Okay, well, this will make it a little easier for us. Because now they're fighting wars on two fronts. Okay. Okay. Yes, I know, I know, I know. United Nations of Earth has declared their colony their rival. Okay. Wowzers. Didn't expect that. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Construction complete. Okay. Oh. Apparently, uh, advanced railguns got done while I was in the middle of trying to set that up. Um... Armored torpedoes. Sure. Let's do that. Upgraded space torpedoes encased in armor to better withstand enemy point defense fire. The armor fragments into shards that cause additional damage when the torpedo detonates. Ideal. Okay. Alright, I definitely need to upgrade my ships before they start Science going Science Division as well. reports a new breakthrough. I know, I know, I know. Interstellar campaigns. Well-oiled war machine. Yep, I already know that. Mm. Let's do galactic bureaucracy. Just because it ups my administrative capacity. Multiple administrative strata efficiently surface only the most vital information to the upper levels of government. Okay. That's good for me, then. And I realize now that I have been too focused on getting that done as opposed to getting the expansion done that I should have been focused on. So, we'll get all that taken care of while I'm doing this. All right. Okay. Oh. 
Look to your credit silos, villain. Full to bursting. Please, let us lighten them. Let us assist. Okay. And you don't even ask for credits. You ask for alloys here. Uh, for... No, let's, let's not do that. There we go. And then that there. Cool. There. Perfect. Uh, still, let's not. Yeah, no. No on that one. Okay. We're now voting on the natural sanctuaries. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Sounds good to me. Um, the, I'm probably going to have to visit the market in the Science second. division reports a new breakthrough. Good. In that case, I'm going to sell that off because I'm going to get a little too close to that limit soon. Interlinked support systems. Beautiful. Um, market analysis algorithms. Sure. Why not? Hey, Shivangi Sondharam now has the expertise in Voidcraft trait. Good. They're going to go back to Nusa Khan to get the ship upgrades. Jesus. They're just running rampant around their entire area. There's like no way I can... There's no way I can do that. I can do anything to help. I, I just don't have the fleet right now. I lost the fleet trying to help them the first time, and then they didn't help me when I needed it. So, ugh. Ugh. Whatever. Um, our control over the colonies is dependent upon us finding capable and loyal individuals that can be trusted to enforce the will of the government. There we go. Good stuff. All right, and after that, we'll do a quick upgrade. Good, good. Construction good. complete. Filthy sup sup zulin spuck zulikens. I can't fucking say their word like that. Jesus, spuck zulikens. I called them Spuxalax, but I guess the Spuxalakens is a little better, I guess. Moving my chair a little bit. I apologize for the noise. Uh, what do you got? Uh, no. We said no to this last time. Okay, they're done there. Good. Which means you move there. And then you do that. And that. And then we'll call that good. Ships refitted. Good. Okay, go back to your home base then, and then... Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Get more added to your fleet. Galactic Bureaucracy is done. Fantastic. Um, go with Effective Bureaucracy now. Why not? Which is improved algorithms of processing for processing and organizing vast amounts of data has streamlined decision making and information sharing throughout the empire. Beautiful. And then armored torpedoes is done. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, we're getting into the good stuff now. <laughs> we're getting into the good stuff now. Kinetic battery. Very long-range artillery com capable of hurling powerful rounds over extreme distances with a large degree of accuracy. Which is all you can hope for. Oh, is it glorious. All right. I will take it. All right, it is almost done upgrading. Ships refitted. Beautiful. And I don't think I can afford right now to upgrade the fleet any further. But if I sell off what I can, I still won't be able to have enough. Damn it. All right. Um, what happened with the fleet anyway? Oh, no, it lost one of them. Oh, shit. That sucks. Now it's at full strength. Okay. Can't afford to reinforce it any further. Okay. That's fine. Well, it's time to send the fleet back. And... I guess we'll wait for them to build up enough strength to send them in. Because that's about all the options we have. We have lost the war. God damn it. Oh my god! Dudes! Okay, um... Yeon, I mean, construction complete. Oh, oh, okay. Empress Catalina One, we understand that your empire is home to an individual whose brilliant mind transcends the tragic primitiveness of your species. First off, ow. Second off, fuck you. Third off, ow. While the talents of the exile are sadly wasted in the Empire of Felinae, we Quel Nuda always have a use for skilled scientists to work in our archives. As such, we are offering you a unique chance to earn our favor by allowing us to take charge of her. We already have a ship en route to pick her up, so you need only say yes, and everything will be settled. I'm sure you won't disappoint us. I'm sure you won't want to disappoint us, do you? Okay. Sure. Technically, I was already expecting her to pass at some point. So I guess it doesn't completely screw us over. But still, I don't like the way you asked. Like it all. Okay, so they're just assisting research there. Okay. Fair enough. Um, they're assisting research as well. Acropolis. Why not? Do stuff there. Since you ain't doing much else. Um, this one here, we'll just do that and then go back. Sounds good to me. The Eon Alliance, I really hope, have learned a lesson from this. 
Science division reports a new breakthrough. There is a way that we could have at all won that. Especially the way the war was going. <sighs> Basic administrative AIs can be used to streamline supply and demand lines, reducing waste, which is always good. Um, what should I do next? Let's go with this. Autonomous station protocols. Increase automation of station functions will free up more staff for research duties. Works for me. And apparently it works for us too. Okay. Science division reports a new breakthrough. An effective bureaucracy is done. Nice. Um, I guess next we'll move on into centralized command, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Creating dedicated headquarters for all levels of military operations shapes an efficient fleet and lays a better foundation for future military training. Sure. Okay, why not? It's cheap as well. Well, I mean, cheaper than the other viable options I have. Because there's not a lot of viable options there, let's be honest here. Okay. Oh, a spark of genius. Beautiful. Gotta love when I can jump on that. Especially since uh, some of them aren't going to last much longer. Uh, Bongani Mquemte is definitely not going to last much longer. I was making sure that I had pronounced that right. Mquemte? I, I want to say that's probably close. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we're moving on. And I'm going to see what's going on here. And here goes. Construction complete. We would like to join the great federal sovereign nations if you would have us. The Spuxalak are actually asking to just outright join the Federation. Funny enough, I was actually going to consider them a rival, but if they want to join us... Sure. I don't see why not. And we now have a new member. We are losing. Okay, that's fine. It is what it is. Oh boy, I'm definitely going to be grabbing onto that. For sure. That is 16 of each thing I could just be grabbing. Absolutely. Why not? Okay. Crown Princess Anastasia has leveled up. That's good. And the Federan Federal Sovereign Nations voted to invite Spuxalax Star Nation into the Federation. And they are now part of the Federation. Which means they're probably the next one? Huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's going to clash a little bit. Yeah. yeah, they're still against creating a fleet. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Either way. It'll still work out. I'm sure. I'm sure it won't go badly. Right? Right? Okay. They have a lot more diplomatic weight than we do. They have a slightly bigger fleet than us. 
Oh, their tech and economy is more advanced. That's why. Wow. Our economy is the same as my birth year. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. Um, that explains a bit. Special project complete. Oh. Likely due to the vessel being a mili- uh, rather a civilian transport, the shipboard databases were not fully scrubbed as part of the decommissioning process. So while nothing else of value was found aboard the ship, our, sci our data scientists have managed to recover partial references to unknown alien technologies. Excellent. Beautiful. Won't be useful anytime soon, but... Go back to Straya, you doofus. What are you doing? Alright, anyway. Doing the good stuff there. Construction and then complete. Move you back to a starbase. And they're done. Good. And cannot afford any further. Come on! Oh boy. Hmm. Oh yeah, I know, I know. They'll be doing that the whole time. Science division because they'll be shipping over there from Nusakan. Autonomous station protocols is now done. Beautiful. And let's do the extended combat algorithms. Just because the ships will need them eventually. Further advances in predictive algorithms allow for augmented tactical decision making in the field. Further advances in adaptive combat algorithms enables our shipboard AI to handle its assigned role far more efficiently. Which is all you can ask for. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. And now it keeps coming up with new stuff. There we go. Creating dedicated headquarters for all levels of military operations, shapes, and efficient fleet. Yep, I already read that. That looks very correct. Hyper Entertainment Forum. Sure, it's cheap. Why not? And it would be... These massive entertainment complexes is where dreams come true. Shopping malls, restaurants, amusement parks, virtual arcades, and more. You dream it, we are it. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, once they're done there. Wait, 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 wait. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. And then I have them doing this here and here. Okay. Kinetic battery is done, which means the next thing... Oh, modular engineering. That's cool to be having now. Rare technology, which is another reason why we should do it. Streamlined starbase construction procedures using modular designs will reduce the present build cost and time. Love it. Let's do it. Alrighty. And so far so good. I think. Yeah. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay. We got that completed, which was faster than I expected, considering I only did it like two minutes ago. Um, Paradise Dome. Interesting. What can I do that's good and cheap? Artificial Moral Codes. Hmm. 
It is circumstance that dictates what is moral. Define the circumstances, and ethics is like clay in your hands. Cool. Let's do it. Wow, I'm going through these in, like, barely two years for some of them. That's great. I love it. I love it. Most of it's due to the fact that I have Pantagruel. Oh, no! Shivangi Santaram! No! It's been an honor, Shivangi. Alright. And with society research now needing a scientist, we will throw Stephen Stephen Marsh. Well, as long as the name wasn't Stan Marsh. Uh, Stan! 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 Actually, I should change. <laughs> no, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't do that. Uh, that is too much. That is too much stupid for me to be indulging in. Okay, anyway. Fleet is done with being upgraded as far as i'm aware actually is there any more upgrades i need to do no cool voted on and passed the resolution natural sanctuaries beautiful all right um resolutions what should i go with no sanctions Honestly, hmm. Yeah, I like this, and it'll cost for any sanctions can be declared, a resolution must be passed that can cause an empire to be denounced or to be in breach of galactic law. And since that will happen, I say, let's do it. But I can't apparently do it right now because I need to wait for the one with the uh, Ketlings to be up and proposed, the reverence for life one. Which will be a little while, but not that long a while. Okay. All right. Anywho, um, we are a little over time right now, so I guess we're going to have the episode. Science division reports a new breakthrough. The Spuxlack want to declare a war against the Commonwealth of Man. Okay. Did you just join our Federation just so you can use us to be your fucking wartime no helpers is that all you did <sighs> lucky for you i don't necessarily like the commonwealth of man okay Foreign powers are engaging in active hostilities and modular engineering is done cool um advanced destroyer hulls is cheap and also good so let's do it all right the latest generation of destroyer hulls have optimized structural integrity fields and improved bulkheads, which is always nice. Okay. I'm not going to jump into that. Y'all can handle that your own damn selves. Just because I said you could do it doesn't mean I'm going to help you. I have my own shit to worry about. Mainly helping my first buddies, the Yeon Alliance, take back the shit from the Sutherian Entity. Because those fuckers do not deserve to have anything of what they have. And I will take it from them. Myself. Anyway. With that said, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Just looking through everyone. Yep, the Sutherian Entity still don't like me. Good. 
Good, 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 good. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and trying to help out the Eon Alliance take <laughs> their country, well, their systems, really, back from the Sutherian entity uh, when eventually they get into a war again. But uh, the Spexilac joined our Federation and now wants to wage their own war with our resources. But I must say no to that. That's not my gig. So y'all have fun with that. I'm going to be over here plotting my move against a Sutherian entity, which is the real threat as far as I'm concerned. For you.